everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the Collection Comic of the Week. Amalgam May continues, and the book I've chosen for this week is Bullets and Bracelets, number one. It is a team-up of Diana Prince, Wonder Woman, and Frank Castle, The Punisher, with some twists and turns and changes, and it was something that... First of all, I got this book at a comic convention last year, so this wasn't one that I bought as a kid and was really excited about. This was one that I kind of bought with a what the fuck are they doing here approach. And then I read it uh, to prepare for this, and much... There's... There's some good stuff here. There is a good concept here. There is a team-up that really has some legs that would be awesome if Marvel and DC would ever work together again with with Punisher and Wonder Woman. Two characters that are not highest on my list, but if they were written this way in a team-up book, I would read the fuck out of it. At least written somewhat this way. The other part of this book is just extremely of the time, extremely not holding up to today's standards, not only from like a, a storytelling perspective, but it's also not holding up to today's standards just by like, just, there's so, like the way this story is written, the way the art is, like we have moved past that. So yeah, just not, uh, it, it, it was a weird book. It's like as excited as I was when I was reading it, and I'm like, this is kind of cool. And like, I like that. I like that. I like this. Like, just like at the flick of a switch, it's like, oh, I don't like this anymore. But, you know, I, I, I would I would like to see a similar team up if that would ever happen again. Um, there, There's like a, a kernel of goodness here. And that's the idea. And like how the, the characters could play off each other. But like everything else in this book is just like bad 90s juju <laughs> you know what i mean just bad but uh without any further ado let's check it out it it is a really interesting combination that they're kind of going with like it's it, of all the books i want to check out this is the one that kind of had the most intrigue to it for me um just be, because it's not a team up you would think about you know, I, I never really thought about putting The Punisher and Wonder Woman together in any way, but, you know, it just kind of is what it is. And, uh, <laughs> an advertisement for Black Sheep. Mm. Going through there and... be a great team up if you know they actually like kind of i don't know kept kept like more of the original designs like okay i have no problem with diana like kind of being in a bit of a different role but like i could have really been all in on this had they like designed punisher frank to you know look like the original punisher i get that it's it's this isn't a it's a crossover, but it's not a crossover. So I understand why they did what they did. But... I don't know. It's just kind of one of those... Very similar to... The... Last Wonder Woman related book I did this month. Where it's like... You know, if they didn't do this one thing... This could be something that would be very, very viable. And maybe hold up a little better today. But... On the flip side of all that, um, I don't really think they had holding up in mind when they were making these. Yeah, I mean, there's... Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's straight up... Keeping the origin story is pretty well the same for the most part. Except uh, they got married. <laughs> Which... I know uh, some, some legions of Wonder Woman fans would not be okay with Wonder Woman getting married in any way, shape, or form. But, like, 
It's actually not a bad angle to take if you're wanting to do a, a crossover with these two characters, but, you know, uh, Wonder Woman with a husband, definitely a no-go to uh, quite a few of the passionate Wonder Woman fans that I know. Uh, Dave's Comics. Huh. What you needed for back issues before the internet became prevalent. <laughs> The art is very for the '90s. I can I can assure you this. This this art would not fly today in any way. Just you know, the they're really really sexualizing the women in this book. Good art, like you know, like like this is good art, but just yeah, it's a little definitely. Uh, Definitely not, uh, how I say this, uh, definitely not something that would, even in the comic community, that we would accept today. M&M's game. That's mine. Hmm. Mile High Comics, gotta love them. Still kicking, still in business. And then we have Thanoside. <laughs> just, just zoom in on that Thanoside. And we have Orion and the Punisher. And I mean. Yeah. Now's where the book falls off the rails. And the good merit of this book goes away. And that's me. The end, question mark. And... Yep, that is bullets and bracelets. You know, like I said earlier, that this was of the time and not always in like the 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 quirky, fun way like other books from the '90s I've reviewed here. Like, there's some stuff. It's like, okay, move past this. We just we've moved past this as a society and as a fandom. But overall, you know. I want to see more of, of Punisher, you know, may not, don't marry them together, but I want to see more of Punisher and, and Diana together. I want to see more, you know, espionage Diana rather than, you know, just, just Wonder Woman. Like, I want to see more of that. Like, that part's cool. Uh, the two of them getting married, not so cool. The blatantly, uh... The blatantly sexist artwork, that's also not cool. But other than that, you know, there's, much like everything else, there is there is a good concept here. Only this was just completely not executed. Well. Uh, and it was very, uh, it's, uh, part of why I'm glad some, you know, portions of the 90s are still in the 90s. So, but... Yeah. Do you also own that comic? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, subscribe for more content, not just from the world of comic books, from the world of pro wrestling, gaming, anime, and all things geek culture. Follow me on my social media pages, facebook.com slash athleticgeek89, twitter at athletic underscore geek89, instagram at athleticgeek89, and if you'd like to help this channel out financially, I am on Patreon, patreon.com slash athleticgeek89. And that, I'm out. Yobiku. Later. Thank mm -hmm. you.